The low pressure turbine for the GE9X is above and beyond anything we've ever done before. This is the biggest turbine ever made. 10% bigger in diameter with respect to G90 and also with significantly higher pressure ratio. We have to apply new technologies also on a big scale. Our friends at Avio have really introduced a, an exciting new technology using additive manufacturing processes to do tie aluminide low pressure turbine blades. Tayal is difficult to manufacture, but it's bringing a lot of benefits because uh, the density of this material is uh, half as much normal nickel-based alloys. So we spent about a year doing a lot of testing there, testing airfoils in front of a moving bar to simulate the unsteady effects. Then we progressed to low-speed annular rotating rig that we have here in Evendale. TechMat has found a lot of issues that if we didn't have the TechMat program, we would have found them during the certification program. And that would have definitely impact the schedule and risk not delivering engines to Boeing. The reason we do so much testing in the technology maturation phase is that uh, you know, we know that as we're pushing the technology, it's really pushing the boundaries on what our uh, analytical tools are able to do. I'm extremely pleased, especially on the low pressure turbine. The LPT is probably one of the highest contributors to engine performance. We're in a very good track to meet all our performance metrics. It's all gonna show up in how well we do when we're on our certification. You know, I think people like to succeed. People feel good when they're able to contribute to something and see how it impacts the industry. I think the difference that we have at GE is we facilitate that. You create an environment where people really do want to invent the world's next greatest engine.